How to make a pumpkin for Halloween. The materials you will need for this project. 10 inch balloons. Get extra in case one pops. 1 pounds of cellu clay. Plastic gloves. A measuring cup. Hot water. A gallon plastic bag. 4 thick rubber bands. Twine. A palette knife. A long, narrow paper bag. 60 inches of 20 gauge copper wire. Wire cutters. Ruler. Zacto knife. Brown corrugated cardboard, scissors, plain paper for pattern, glue, paintbrush, acrylic paint in white, orange spice, pure pumpkin, earth brown and a gold metallic, clear acrylic spray to seal. Blow a 10 inch balloon up to about 5 inches across. Tie off the end. Wrap the four rubber bands around the balloon until you have 8 even sections. You might need a few extra rubber bands on top of the others to make the rubber bands not slip off the balloon. As an extra help, I tied twine as tight as I could around the tie-off part of the balloon, and reinforced the grooves where the rubber bands were. I wove the twine around each section of the balloon, to hold the rubber bands and twine, on the balloon tightly. To mix the cellu clay, break off half of the one pound block and put it in a gallon plastic bag. Prepare 16 ounces of hot water. Add 16 ounces of hot water to the cellu clay in the plastic bag. Begin to knead the cellu clay until it is smooth. With plastic gloves on. Pinch a ball of cellu clay and begin flattening this with your hands, to a quarter of an inch thick pancake. Pat this onto the balloon shape. Continue covering the balloon until you run out of the first batch of cellu clay. Now it is time to make the rest of the cellu clay mixture. If you have to stop, make sure the cellu clay is closed tightly and stored in the refrigerator. As you shape the cellu clay, burnish it smoothly with a palette knife. Try to keep the cellu clay as thin as possible to aid in the drying process. If you see a spot that is too thin, you will need to fill it in. Try to keep the grooves of the pumpkin in place by running the palette knife down each groove. Leave the tight end of the balloon showing as later you will remove the balloon from the cavity of the pumpkin. Set your pumpkin aside to dry in a warm place, preferably on a rack. This may take several days depending on how thick the cellu clay is. To begin creating the stem while your pumpkin is drying, cut a piece of 20 gauge copper wire, 10 inches long. Place this inside of the long, narrow, brown paper bag. Begin to twist the paper bag to make the stem of the pumpkin. When your pumpkin is dry, you can sand it to get a smoother appearance. Next, take an X-Acto blade and cut a small hole around the tie-off part of the balloon. You should be able to pull the balloon out at this point. Check to see if there are any cracks or holes. If you need to patch something, simply rub a small bit of cellu clay on the crack and let it dry. Paint your pumpkin all over with white acrylic paint to seal it. Let dry. To finish making the stem of the pumpkin, place a sheet of white paper onto the top of the pumpkin. Make a pattern by drawing with a pencil, making sure to take the grooves of the pumpkin into consideration. Cut this out and then trace this on a piece of brown cardboard. Cut this out. Make a small hole in the cardboard and thread the twisted bag into the hole. This should fit in tightly. Cut two, 24 inch pieces of 20 gauge copper wire. Fold in half and twist each piece onto the stem of the pumpkin. Use a dowel or end of a paintbrush to coil this wire around. Now you can glue the stem onto the pumpkin. Spray with clear acrylic spray to seal your artwork. Paint the pumpkin with orange spice and then blend the brown into the orange spice and paint in the grooves of the pumpkin to make it more realistic. Highlight the pumpkin with a dry brush or slightly watered down of the pure pumpkin acrylic paint. Finally, dry brush with gold metallic paint. Let dry. To view this project online.
Visit our craft projects page at activaproducts.com.